Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix memory management blue screen error on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I will be sharing seven to eight effective solution that you need to apply. And after that, I'm very sure your problem will be fixed. Now memory management screen, uh, it comes up with a blue screen that says your PC ran into a problem. And this message basically appear because of the RAM. All right, so we will talk everything in this video. But first, let's proceed with the solution and see that what is the best way to fix it. You should come to the login screen and then while holding the shift key from your keyboard, you need to click on this power icon that is on the very right hand corner. Click on it and while holding only you have to click on restart and then restart anyway. Now you can leave the shift key and it says please wait and we will be getting a next screen with some advanced options. Alright, so now here you have to click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced options and then click on startup settings and here click on restart. And now we need to start the computer in the safe mode with networking. So you need to press the 5 key from your keyboard that is F5 key as enable safe mode with networking is on number 5. So just tap the F5 key from your keyboard. And the system PC will be now starting in the safe mode with networking. All right, so let me quickly log in. And the system is now in the safe mode and you can see some kind of a different screen. And on the right in top, it says safe mode. So once you are in the safe mode, you have to click on the Windows search type Windows memory and you will be getting Windows memory diagnostic. Click on it. Click restart now and check for problems. Click on it. You will be getting this kind of a screen of Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. And this will be running all kind of tests and show you the status. And as of now, you can see the status says no problem have been detected yet. You just need to wait until this is completed. Once the test is completed, it will be automatically restarted. And now you need to check back again if the problem has been fixed. So it seems to be fixed, but in case it's still if you have the problem, then next what you can do, try updating your windows, your graphic driver and other kind of drivers on your PC and laptop. Right click on your windows, click on device manager from the list. Now here you need to look for all the drivers and find out the one with the yellow exclamation mark. Alright, so if there is any kind of defaulty or faulty uh, drivers, then you need to find it out. They basically appears in a yellow exclamation mark. And if not, then also you need to check back the drivers like display adapters. Uh, just right click on it, click on update driver, then click search automatically for drivers. Just make sure that all these drivers are up to date. Then you also need to update your windows. So click on your windows search type update. Click on check for updates. Now here you can click on check for update option and if there are update available kindly go ahead and update it. And then next you have to click on your windows search again type cmd. Right click on the command prompt click on run as administrator. Then click on yes the black window will come up. Here you have to type a command that is sfc space forward slash scan now. Then you have to hit the enter key and this will be scanning the system file for all kind of integrity violation. All right. Now, in case after applying all these solution is still it do not work. And still, if you have the problem, the next what you can do, you will have to go with a restore, restore your system to a date where your computer was working fine. So click on your Windows search type rstrui.exe. Then click on rstrui.exe run command. And here I have not created any kind of restore point, but probably you have created a restore point or it has been automatically created. Then you have to click on next, choose the date when you think the computer was working fine. And then you have to follow the steps. See if this uh, fix the problem. And if not, then finally you will have to reset your PC. So click on your Windows search, type reset, click reset this PC, click reset PC. And then go with the first option keep my file because this will be only removing the app and the setting but won't be deleting any of your personal file and data you can go with this option 
and this is the last option and but probably i guess the previous solution will surely work for you and let me know in the comment section which method work for you and for any question any doubt let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe i see you in the next video bye bye